Hi, this is Tim. Today I want to talk to you about this conveyor trainer that we're going to be using in some upcoming videos. Now this isn't our trainer. We're actually working with Mark over at Industrial Concepts on this set of lessons and we're going to be integrating it with our Control Logics trainer. But I want to take a few minutes to talk about this trainer, about some of its features, and also we're going to go through how to wire it. Now I'm not going to get into the details about some of the things such as using syncing and sourcing, two wire control, three wire control, because we have videos on that. So when I say, hey, we have a video on that, look in the description. Look in the description. We're going to have a video that will help you through it. So first let's do a little overview of this conveyor. So we have a conveyor and the motor on it is 24 volt, which is good. It's going to integrate really nicely with our trainer. And then it has... I, in most of the video, I'm going to call them shiny and black parts. Now, the shiny ones are aluminum, and the black ones are plastic. And so what you do here is you would normally drop them in here, and then there's a sensor here on the front of it that would sense it. And as it goes down, your goal is when it hits this sensor, if it's aluminum, it should push it off, which we have this solenoid right over here that brings that out. So if this was the aluminum one, we hit that, and it would put it into that slot. Now, if it was a plastic one, it would go on down, and it would go into that slot. So we have several different types of sensors. Each sensor is different, so there's a lot you can learn there. So now what I'm going to do is this is the way we're going to run it in most of the videos, but I want to flip it around where we can get a detail of the wiring here and talk about it a little bit. So here is a close-up of the wiring of this trainer. So over here, we have a 24 volt power supply built into the trainer. And we're gonna use this for some hardwired exercises in this video. But in the videos where we integrate the PLC, we're actually gonna use the power supply on our trainer. So it's very versatile there. You can use either one. Then we have a couple indicator lights. We have a running indicator and an alarm stop indicator. And then here's where the bulk of our wiring is gonna be. So we have a relay here and we're going to use this actually here is the physical relay and we're going to use this to energize our motor because typically buttons will not have enough ampacity to actually energize a motor so you would use a relay or a contactor and here are the solenoid coils so over here you saw me earlier i hit the overrides on these and made these operate well here are the actual coils that we'll use to energize those solenoids without me manually pressing them there is our motor and here are our sensors and this actually has three different types of sensors so that we can talk a little later about different types of sensors and all of these sensors are pnp so you're going to need syncing plc inputs which is how all our trainers are set up and most of my exercises that we've done are so that's one thing i really love again this is another one where industrial concepts trainer really integrates well with ours and we have magnetic switches on our cylinders. So each cylinder on the back here has a retract switch and an extended switch so we can tell where these cylinders are. So let's do some basic exercise with this before we even get wiring on the PLC. So first, let's just wire 24 volt to our motor so we can just see how it runs. So I'm gonna take a wire from the minus of our power supply and I'm going to connect it to the minus of our motor. Then I'm going to take a wire from the plus of my gear motor. And I'm going to connect it to the plus of the power supply. So now when I switch our power supply on, our motor is going to run. Also, I don't think we've ever actually talked about reversing DC motors. But to reverse a DC motor, all you have to do is swap the plus and the minus. And now when we turn it on, it's gonna go the opposite direction. Now I've been trying to rack my brain on this for a video, is what is an example where we would reverse a conveyor motor? I mean, besides when we jam up a conveyor, I guess that's the only thing you can come up with. But yeah, if you come up with anything fairly quickly, let me know and I'll try to do a video on it before I take down this setup. All right, so now let's talk about how to wire it for a two-wire control, which is probably the most basic control circuit, and it's also how eventually we'll integrate it with our PLC. So first, let's swap these two wires back. 
So the plus is there and the minus is there. So that gets us back to our really basic circuit that we had. But now what I want to do is I want to take the plus 24 volt off and we're going to connect it to the left contact on our relay. Because this way we can use our relay to actually switch our conveyor on and off. So now let's take a wire from the other side of our contact and put it right back to our motor. So now we have the exact same circuit, but now the relay must energize to start our motor. So just so we understand that, let's go ahead and turn our power back on and you see we're not gonna run. So we'll turn that back off and now let's wire that relay in. So we're gonna connect a wire from the minus of our motor because you can stack these connectors here and we're going to put it to the minus of our relay. Then we're gonna take a wire from the plus 24 volt coming from our power supply and we're gonna to go to one side of our start switch and then we'll take a wire from the other side of our start switch and go to the 24 volt side of our relay. So now what we've done is we've added 24 volt to our button and whenever we press it, we're gonna energize the relay coil. So let's turn our power back on. And first, let's just look at this relay. You're also gonna hear the conveyor start, but I'm gonna press the start button. And you see the relay energize. I let off and it de-energizes. And so that makes it where press the start button, we run, we let off and it stops. So that's a basic two wire control circuit. And to make this PLC control, we would simply replace our start button with a PLC output. But on a hardwired circuit, you typically don't wanna sit there and have to hold this button all the time. And so we would use a seal in or a three wire control circuit to use the stop button to keep it running. And here's a wiring diagram for it. And I also have a video going through the details of how it works. So in this case, instead of powering 24 volt to our start button, we need to move it over to our stop button. Then we'll add another wire from the other side of our stop button, one to our start button. That's gonna put it in series, but also to one side of another one of our relay contacts. We're gonna use the second relay contact. And then we'll simply connect a wire from the other side of our relay contact back to our relay coil. Now I know I went through that really fast and you're all like, what did he just do? Well, again, the videos in the description are important. They're gonna go step by step through this. But mainly now when we press our start button, our conveyor starts, and when I let off of the button, it continues to run. Then when I press the stop button, it stops. And that's your basic conveyor start-stop circuit. So there's a quick primer on this conveyor trainer and some basic hardwired exercises. Again, we're gonna be making some really fun videos on this. So if you have any that you particularly think would be good, put them down in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And again, any questions you have, put them down in the comments because your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.